scripture is from the first Kings, chapter 3, verse 28. Solomon asked for wisdom, and all Israel heard of the judgment that the king had rendered. And they stood in awe of king, because they perceived that the wisdom of God was in him to the justice. Hello, everyone. You know, it was so nice to see you guys at the church last week. I really hope we can see at the church every week soon. Let us pray for that. Okay, do you remember that we have learned about David, the second king of Israel? Uh, yeah, long time ago, right? So, okay, I will tell you about his son Solomon after reviewing uh, what we learned about King David. Okay, first, God does not choose perfect man like a superhero for his kingdom. He chose David, who was a shepherd, just a shepherd, no more people. This is because God gives all the power and abilities necessary. So David just had to believe in God and obey him. David also sinned, you know, but what we must learn from him is that as soon as we knew that he had sinned, we ask God for forgiveness. I pray that all of you will be used by God because of your true faith and obedience in God. So one day, King David called Solomon and said, My son, I had it in my heart to build a house for the name of the Lord my God. But this word of the Lord came to me. You are not to build a house for my name because you have shed much blood on the earth in my sight. But you will have a son who will be a man of peace and rest, and I will give him rest from all his enemies on every side. His name will be Solomon, and I will great grant Israel peace and quiet during his reign. He is the one who will build a house for my name. He will be my son, and I will be his father. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Yes, God already chose Solomon to be the next king of Israel. So David told his son Solomon before, before he died, Be strong and brave. Obey God, and you will be successful. Right. David wanted to teach his son what the important thing is he had learned through his life. Obey to him. Obey to God. After David died and Solomon became the king of Israel, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. And God said, Solomon, Ask for anything you want, and I will give it to you. Wow, it is so great. So Solomon could ask for anything. So before, taking, before talking about what Solomon asked for, let me ask you. Okay, if, you call, if God called you and said in your dream tonight, ask for anything you want, what would you ask for? Who want to have good toys? Do you want to have a big house or a nice car? Do you want to be healthy? Or do you want to become very pretty or handsome? I see. You need only money because you can do everything with a lot of money, right? I know we have many things what we need in our life. King Solomon also might have asked to live a long life or to have lots of riches. He could have asked God to give him victory over all his enemies. 
I think in his circumstance, he should ask God that all his people obey to him because he just became a king. However, Solomon prayed, God, I am young and I do not know very much about being a king. Yeah, actually he was only around 20 years old when he became a king. So he continued to pray, please make me wise and obedient to you. Help me know the difference between right and wrong. Help me lead your people well. So what did Solomon ask for? Yes, he asked wisdom. So God was happy with Solomon's request. God said, I will give you wisdom. In fact, I will make you more wise and understanding than anyone who has ever lived. No one in the future will ever be as wise as Solomon. Then God said, because you ask for wisdom, I will also give you one you did not ask for, long life, riches, and honor. You will be greater than any other king during your lifetime. Why God was happy with Solomon's request? Because Solomon did not worry about himself and his well-being. His only interest was how to lead God's people well. So God gave not only wisdom, but also everything what Solomon needed. So now let us think about your requests. Did you ask for a car, a house, money, healthy? Do you think those are worse than wisdom? Probably wisdom seemed to be better request than those. However, the most, most important thing is the reason why you ask for that. Why? If you ask for a car for your well-being, God will be not happy. However, if you needed a car to ride someone who cannot come to the church because he or she doesn't, does not have a car, God will be happy for your request. If you needed money to help poor people, God will be happy. If you needed to be healthy to worship God in the church, when you must stay in a hospital because of sick, God will be happy. To lead God's people well, Solomon asked for God's wisdom. So God was happy. So we should remember that. What we ask for is not important, but the purpose why we ask for is more important. Because God really wants to see our heart, such as to love his people and to work for his kingdom. You know, Jesus came to the, to the earth not to live for himself and his well-being, but to become sacrificial, to save us from our sins. That was the purpose why God sent Jesus to, to us. God created us by his purpose, not only for our well-being. So let us live for God's people and God's work, because that is our purpose, why God created us. That's what I want to tell you today. So please remember that. Okay, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us think about what we need in our life. Please let us have wisdom like Solomon had so we could live for your purpose. We really want to live for you. Please help us to know what the purpose you want from us is. If we had done some bad things, please forgive our sins so we could be with you. Please help us be far away from any kinds of sins. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So let's see what we can do with our activity books. So younger children, please open your book, page 21. Yeah. 
there are six pictures that your friend is doing something. So do you think they are doing something wisely or unwisely? So please mark each picture. And color the picture on the next page. Good. Okay, now elder children, please read the full story of Solomon on the page 21. And next page, there are eight wishes on the eight candles, such as knowledge, friendships, possessions, like that. So please think what you want first and then rank them. So write the numbers on the flames like this. Okay? And at the bottom on the same page, there are four statements. So please read them and decide if each statement is true or false. All right, let us praise the Lord who can give us wisdom. God bless you and have a wonderful week and see you. There is something that's better than the latest toy There is something that never can be destroyed It's worth more than jewels and gold or anything money can buy To go astray But in the Bible You reveal Your perfect way You teach me to think like you Instead of being a fool I wanna love it, live it, learn it, read it. W I S D O M.